All right, guys, today I'm going to show you one of the best kept secrets among internet marketers across the internet, hands down. And this is called outsourcing. Outsourcing is going to save us tons and tons of time, and it's going to get content created for our website, and it's going to get backlinks to our website uh, in a snap, okay? So you don't have to worry about doing the work. You can have it done for you. For example, I outsource work from our website. I have people write posts for me. I have people find backlinks for me, and I have people create those backlinks. And uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be just uh, internet marketing. It can be anything. So if you need anything done on the computer, um, you can come to Odesk and you can have them do it for you. Okay? This is a great way to get your website customized and uh, uh, if you guys need graphics for your website or anything at all. Okay? So I've used several outsourcing websites in the past and I found that Odesk is by far the best. Um, the reason Odesk is the best is because it's got a lot more people on Odesk that are willing to do the work for you. And it's very cheap. Uh, to hire people to do the work for you, okay? And so you can build little teams of people that will work for you, and if you like the work that people are doing for you, you can just keep them forever, and they will always do work for you. And uh, it's kind of like a, a, an assistant. If you hire an assistant to get stuff done for you, you're going to get it done a lot faster, uh, and you can go ahead and do other things that need to get done uh, while content is created for your website. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and log in and show you how it works. If you guys have not already created an account with Odesk, uh, come to Odesk. Here's a link under this video and create an account. Uh, since I already have an account, I'm going to go ahead and log in and I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put in my username and password. And sign in. Okay, so as you can see right now, I don't have any job postings. Um, I've been a bit busy with other things lately, so I have not had time to do any uh, jobs. But today, I'm gonna go ahead and post a job for creating a post from a website. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Post a Job. And since this is a uh, writing job for a post, I'm gonna go ahead and select Writing from the category. And as you can see, we can do uh, web development, software development, network, and marketing systems. You do everything with this thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and do writing. And for the subcategory, I'm going to go ahead and select uh, blog and article writing. And then for the job title, I'm going to put create two posts for Clint's money box. Okay. And whenever you guys are posting a new job, and whenever you're hiring new people to do work for you, I suggest you keep the work very minimal. So just post a small amount of work, and then hire about five people to do that work for you. And then whoever does the best work, select that person to keep on creating content uh, for your website, okay? So I'm gonna put create two posts for Clint's money box. Okay, and then for the description, I'm gonna put create okay so I went ahead and I wrote create two posts for Clint's money box at www.clintsmoneybox.com these two posts can be about anything that pertains to internet marketing and these posts need to have proper SEO I am looking for high quality posts and I will rehire the person who completes this job the quickest and with the highest quality. These posts can be about traffic generation, SEO, Google tips and tricks, ideas for creating home businesses online, top 10 ways to, the biggest reasons you're failing with your home business, or anything else that pertains to internet marketing that the readers will get value from. Thank you for your applications, Clint. Okay, so now, um, basically, you guys want to create posts that pertain to your website. Okay, so if you guys are doing dieting, um, you want to stress that you want a high quality article that's going to be done quickly, and you want to stress that you're going to rehire the person that does the best job for you. And um, so, for example, you would probably write something like, these two posts can be about anything that pertains to dieting, and these two posts need to have proper SEO. So hopefully you guys get the idea. Um, you just need to find uh, the best content that you can. So you got to stress that you need high quality content and then uh, give them ideas about what to write. 
um, after you hire your um, your applicant, then um, you can go ahead and, and give them more specific details about what you want done. And I'll go ahead and show you that later on uh, when we get applicants here in a second. And uh, applicants apply for this job right away. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go down to skills required. And we're going to do marketing, SEO, uh, blog writing, um, content generation, content writing, um, let's see, copywriting. copy editing oh wait yeah okay so that's enough um, this, this is gonna uh, find people with these skills so when I post this job people with these skills are gonna be notified that there's been a job posted so I'm gonna go ahead and go down to uh, fixed price and for my budget I'm gonna go ahead and put ten dollars okay um, so this is gonna get us two posts for ten bucks and that's generally a pretty good price um, but you're going to see that other people will bid either higher or lower than ten dollars, um, depending on the quality that they're going to give us and uh, where they're at and in what part of the world they live in. Okay, so if you if you're going to hire somebody from India, generally those people are going to ask for much less money than if you were hiring somebody from the United States. Okay, and I'm going to show you a couple different ways to find people from the United States versus finding people from India or anywhere else in the world. Okay, for the estimated end date. Um, two posts should be created very quickly, so I'm going to put uh, two days from now. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, on Saturday. So I'm going to click on Saturday, January 19th. And contractor preference, I'm going to go ahead and do independent because uh, independent contractors usually do better work for you. And uh, it's kind of like hiring a private assistant. If you hire an agency to do the work for you, um, you're gonna hire like a specific, like a small corporation or uh, a small team of individuals. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do independent, and then the job visibility is gonna be public, and it's gonna be visible in the search engines. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on post a job. It's very simple to do, and it's very quick. Okay, and then this is going to show us a list of people who are qualified to do our job. Okay. Um, Generally, I just go ahead and I wait for uh, people to apply um, because you'll get a response from those people uh, much quicker and uh, you'll be able to get it done faster. But if you guys like some of the, the um, some of these people's profiles, you can go ahead and send them an invitation to apply for your job. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, exit out of here and then I'm just going to wait for people to respond to my job posting. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and when there's people that have responded to my job I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what to do next. Okay so it's been over an hour now and uh, we have five new applicants for this job that we just created and um, generally you're going to get um, more than five applications within the first hour. It just depends on what time of day you post your job. For example, right now in Italy it's 9.54 a.m. and when I posted this job it was about 8.20 and uh, it's pretty early in the morning for uh, this side of the world. Everybody in the United States is sleeping so I'm not going to get any applications from the United States, I'm willing to bet, but I'm going to get a lot of applications from um, this part of the world and so if you guys want to get applications from the United States, make sure you post your job around 9 a.m. or sometime during the day in the United States, okay? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and check and see what kind of applications we have. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the five new applicants here. <clears throat> And we can see that we have some very uh, generic um, applications. For example, I don't think I would hire this guy. All he says is, I need work. It's, it's, not, uh, very, it's not a very good application at all. So I'm not, I'm not even going to worry about that one. Um, and this one actually looks like it's pretty decent. It says, hello, Clint. Greetings of the day. 
It's been more than two years that I've been working on SEO article writing, proofreading, article spinning for obvious reasons. And then I can go ahead and view more of that. And it looks like these guys are from maybe India? I'm not really sure. We're going to have to click on those and we'll get more information. <clears throat> um, a technical article writer. Uh, this, guy, this guy does SEO and high quality link building. And this guy is an article writer. Okay, so if I wanted to do maybe some link building as well, I could probably hire this guy and he could do some link backlink building. But I'm willing to bet that most of these guys would do the backlink building as well. So I'm going to go ahead and view some of these guys and see what they're all about. Okay, this guy looks like doing it for $11. So like I said, it, it's going to be more or less uh, $10 for uh, two articles. And okay, so this guy's bidding about the same. Okay, this guy seems pretty promising as well. And uh, you can see the ratings that other people have given him. This guy's got five stars um, after working 60 hours. So this is actually a, a pretty decent guy. And I might go ahead and go with this guy because he's bidding less than uh, $10. And I'm just going to go ahead and give him $10 if I uh, do choose this guy. Okay, let's go back and look at that first guy that we were interested in. This guy right here. So this guy is uh, showing me that he's done... Um, other projects and he's given me a, a link to these other projects and so it's a good idea to check this stuff and see what kind of uh, writing style he has and uh, and uh, how he writes his blog posts. Yeah, and, and it says here he's from India. Let's see where the other, these other guys are from. Bangladesh. 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 Okay. So two of these guys I really like. I like this guy. And I like this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on this guy's profile so I can get a little bit more information about him. And I'm going to click on this guy's profile to get more information about him. And I found that um, people in India and uh, people from other parts of the world, like Bangladesh, they actually do create some pretty good content. You would expect that the uh, English skills of these people would maybe be a bit less than people from the United States, but they're actually... Uh, pretty good. A lot of these guys do some great work. Um, if I was going to hire somebody from the United States, they might bid a little bit more. But maybe the quality might be a little bit better, but who knows? Because uh, I've been surprised by a lot of these people from around the world. So let's go ahead and take a look at these guys' profiles. See here it says English level 5 out of 5. Okay, and then we can look at his profile. Full-time freelancer. He's worked for more than two, we two years. And it looks like he's got his stuff together. And these are his uh, previous job applications. So this is pretty much his little resume that he's done for Odesk. Okay, um, I like this guy, so I'm going to go ahead and um, speak with him. Here's his portfolio, so we can look at some of the stuff here. Okay, I can't even see that. Maybe if I click on it. There we go. Ah, a Venice travel guide. Interesting. And I'm going to assume he wrote this. Venice. I've been to Venice. I love Venice. Okay. All right. So this guy looks like he's pretty promising. I like Ashok Kumar. And let's look at Shaquille. He's had 11 contracts, and he's got five stars. And profile at a glance. Okay. You can see that there's a few grammatical errors inside of his profile overview, but I'm not going to let that bother me. His English level is 5 out of 5, and, and this is his recent work history. And it looks like uh, 
a lot of other people have been asking them to do the same sort of thing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hire both of these guys. And uh, to hire these guys, all we have to do is click on the Hire Now button under the Send Message button. So I'm going to click on Hire Now. And I'm going to hire at the specific terms. I'm going to have to log back in. Or authenticate. Title, I'm going to say. I'm going to call him a content generator. And then I'm going to go ahead and continue. I'm going to agree to the terms and I'm going to confirm hire. Okay, so he's going to write me a couple of uh, great articles from our website and uh, it's only going to cost me 10 bucks, so it's a pretty good deal. And then uh, let's take a look at Shaquille. We'll go ahead and hire Shaquille as well. Hire the specified terms, continue. I'm going to authenticate. Continue. Hmm. Oh, I have to give him a name. Let's see. Content generator. Continue. I agree to the terms. So make sure you guys look over the terms as well. So I've, make sure that the agreed budget is uh, something that you would like to pay. And like I said, I'm just going to give him $10 if he completes this job well and confirm hire. Okay. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and get in contact with these guys and we're going to tell them exactly what we want. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and contact Shaquille. I'm going to say Okay, and I went ahead and I wrote, thanks for taking the job Shaquille. Please let me know which two subjects you will be writing about, and if you have any questions about the job, let me know. You can Skype me at ClintonLee83. Um, and Skype is a great way to chat with somebody while um, you're working on a project. And um, also I wrote, uh, please let, let me know which two subjects will be, you will be writing about. Um, I'm going to write the same thing to the uh, other person that I hired, and I'm going to make sure that these two don't write about the same subjects, just so that I have... Um, a lot of diverse articles on our website. So, um, And then once these two are done writing, I'm going to go ahead and look over the articles. And um, I'm going to complete the job if I like the articles. If I don't like the articles, I can tell these people that I do not like the articles. And um, I can ask them to rewrite them for me or uh, make the changes that I need. And they will usually just go ahead and rewrite them for you without any questions. And then uh, you can complete the job. And then you're just going to take those articles and paste them on your website. And that's basically all there is to it. So I'm going to go ahead and send this to Shaquille. Okay, and then like I said, make sure your Skype is on uh, just so that you can contact uh, these writers or they can contact you whenever they uh, need to get a hold of you. Make sure you guys provide your team with a list of keywords that you've collected using the Google Keyword Tool, Market Samurai, or SE Cockpit so that they know which keywords to use in your uh, website. Um, a lot of times these guys will find keywords for you, but it's a good idea to provide them with a list of keywords because you've done the keyword research and you know exactly which keywords are going to work uh, with your specific website. So, okay, um, so that's it for um, Odesk. And as you can see, I'm actually getting more uh, uh, applications. And the applications are going to keep coming in. So I am going to assume I'm going to have about 20 applications for this specific job. So if I wanted to hire one or two more people, um, just so that I have uh, a better selection of people once they get done writing the articles, I can choose from the articles and select the best one. Um, I could do that, OK? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you another outsourcing website that I like to use that is very cheap and it's called Fiverr. And Fiverr is pretty much the same thing as Odesk, except for every job that you post on Fiverr, 
is going to cost five dollars. So if you want somebody to write a uh, an article for you, it's only going to cost you five dollars. Um, but I'm pretty much doing the same thing on Odesk, and I'm getting a lot more people uh, to apply on Odesk because there's a lot more people on Odesk in general. Um, so this is actually another great website that you can use for articles. Uh, you, can, you can use it for backlinks if you want backlinks to your website. And pretty much anything else. You can see over here on the, on the, uh, the right we have graphics and design, video animation, online marketing, writing and translation, advertising, business. Um, just come to these websites and explore and see what kind of jobs you can have done for your website. Um, so I'm going to leave a link for both Odesk and for Fiverr in the description of uh, this tutorial. And that is basically it. Uh, take advantage of outsourcing. This is going to be one of your best friends when you guys are doing your online marketing. And I know you guys will absolutely love it because you're going to be socializing with some great people and you're going to build yourself a great little team um, that will keep you from having to work a lot on your website. So that's it for this lesson and I will see you guys in the next lesson.